So this is going to be the third part for root 53 and let's discuss root 53 health checks. Uh, when we talk about health checks, we need to understand there are a few questions that have to be answered and at the end of the video, you will be able to as well. So the first question that we have for us is how root 53 determines the status of health checks that monitor an endpoint. So the first thing that happens is when you configure root 53 is that root 53 health checkers send requests to the endpoints. Okay, and you can choose which location you want root 53 to use. And you can specify the interval between checks. So it can be either every 10 seconds or every 30 seconds. So it will evaluate the status as per the time interval provided. So now that's clear. So each health check record or each health checker evaluates the health of each endpoint based on two values. The first point that we evaluates it with is the response time. So whether the endpoint responds to a number of consecutive health checks that you specify. The next thing that it checks is for the failure threshold. So whether it responds or the endpoint responds to a number of consecutive health checks that you specify. So let's uh, so it's like you set it at five, then it will check the health five times before confirming that it has reached the threshold and it will fail it and it will keep failing until it gets passed. So remember these two points, one is the response time and the other one is a failure threshold. Okay, and the next thing that we have here is root 53 aggregates the data from the health checker and determines whether the endpoint is healthy. So if more than 18% of health checkers report that an endpoint is, is healthy, root 53 considers it healthy. If 18% of health checkers or fewer report that an endpoint is healthy, root 53 considers it as unhealthy. Okay, so the response time that an individual health checker uses to determine whether an endpoint is healthy depends on the type of health check. And there are multi, there are different type of health checks as well. So the first thing that we have here is HTTP and HTTPS health checks. So the endpoint must respond with a HTTP status code of 200 or 300 or 2XX or 3XX within two seconds after connecting. So if it returns 200 or 201 or 300, then it is considered to be healthy. So 200 range or 300 range. The next one that we have here is the TCP health check. So the TCP health check, so in TCP health check, root 53 must be able to establish a TCP connection with the endpoint within 10 seconds. Okay, this is pretty straightforward. And the next one that we have here is HTTP and HTTPS health checks with string matching. So in root 53, so root 53 must be able to establish a TCP connection with the endpoint within four seconds and the endpoint must respond with an HTTP status code of, of the range of 200 or 300 within two seconds after connecting. And root 53 searches the response body for a string that you specify. So the string must appear entirely in the first 5120 bytes of the response body or the endpoint fails with the health check. Okay, so let's suppose you have the string called I am safe and if the response body has it, then the root 53 will entitle it as healthy. So there are two ways that you can achieve string matching with this. So in the console way, you can specify the string in the search string field or for the API, you can specify the string in the search string element. So next up is how root 53 determines the status of health checks that monitor other health checks. Yes, you heard it right. You can monitor other health checks with root 53 health checks. So there are a few things that make this work and they are the first thing is a health check can monitor the status of other health checks. So this type of health check is known as calculated health check. And the health check that does the monitoring is the parent health check. And as you know, the parent always has childs. So the health check that are monitored are called the child health checks. So one parent health check can monitor the health of up to 255 child health checks. Okay, remember this. So how does the monitoring work here? So root 53 adds up the number of child health checks that are considered to be healthy. Then it compares that number with the number of child health checks that must be healthy for the status of the parent health check to be considered healthy. Okay, so let's suppose uh, the example here is let's suppose uh, the number of child health checks is equal to 50. And if we have a variable for the number of health checks that should be healthy, uh, like the threshold. So threshold child health check is the variable. So the example here is, let's suppose we have the number of child health checks that are healthy is 40. Uh, so if the threshold value that we have here is greater than or equal to 40, then we consider it as healthy because 40 is greater than or equal to 
40 so it's healthy and if the threshold value is less than 40 then we consider it as an unhealthy health check so the third one that we have here is how route 53 determines the status of health checks that monitor cloudwatch alarm so talking about cloudwatch alarms so you can create cloudwatch alarms that monitor the status of cloudwatch metrics such as the number of throttled read events for an amazon dynamo db database or the number of elastic load balancing hosts that are considered healthy so after you create an alarm you can create a health check that monitors the same data stream that cloudwatch monitors for the alarm okay so the same data stream can be used by around 53 health checks as well so so in simple terms what it means is so route 53 monitors the data stream for the corresponding alarm instead of monitoring the alarm state so if the data stream indicates that the state of the alarm is okay health check is considered healthy if the data stream indicates that the state is alarm the health check is considered unhealthy but if the data stream doesn't provide enough information to determine the state of the alarm the health check status depends on the setting for health check status three status checks that we can have so one is the healthy one is unhealthy or last known status and this can be set in route 53 with the variable insufficient data health status and so this was a pretty straightforward one so i hope it was clear and that's all for the health check side for route 53 if you have any doubts on this please put your doubts and queries in the comment section below and i'll surely reply to them so i hope you meet in the next session until then signing off